right? So this is Niti in the weaving loom, which is the judge, my G. And her proper appearance, you know what I mean? See the flipping plain sight. Right? This is Judge Judy family. Dressing up like Big Mama. And look at this sucker shit right here. You see what I'm saying? Desperate time call for desperate measure. Uh, I would reckon. Right? Because he was actually in the seat before she was. Right? So he had to usurp the throne. Right? He had to go undercover. Right? He had to usurp the throne in the guise of, of, the, of, the, of the Queen of Heaven. Right? In order to put his mama on the throne. Right? On NATO fucking soil with all this fake ass shit. You came over here lying about and all this bullshit. And by the time you get a native's eye shit back, right? Because you lame as hell. Look at that lame ass. It's so lame. See, when you look back at history, bro, you be like, what the fuck, bro? It's like, that shit was yesterday. Imagine if all this shit happened yesterday. Bro. Desperate time call for desperate measure, my G. You're like a goddamn grandmama sent up this motherfucker, right? So, this is... Ashley, who was crucified, my G. This is actually the woman, right? The crucifixion of the woman or the queen of heaven. As we can see right here as well. Right? This is the crucifixion of St. Julia. Right? Who was also symbolic of the queen of heaven family. You understand? So, this is the Isis flip. Right? A uh, ISIS cross flip. Right? This is now what we call, family, the crucifixions of ISIS. You understand? In plain fucking sight. Right? So it's actually not the crucifixion of, of Jesus. Jesus is not the Christ, family. It's actually his mother who is the Christ. Right? The crucifixions of ISIS, which is the Islamic State. You understand? That's the ISIS flip in your mind, right? On your on your on your right brain, right? The ISIS attacks in Iraq and Syria, right? What we call the Islamic State ISIS, the new ISIS, right? One of the biggest CIA operations, right? So, but like I say, family, the desperate time called for desperate measures. They knew that these times were coming, right? So, they're also playing in the skies of the Queen of Heaven, right? This is Isis or Venus, right? Now, if we look at this and we look at this, right? This is an inverted cross. Right, a cross. If we just move this up, family, like the plus symbol, that's an actual cross. This is actually not a cross. That's how we know that they've been bullshitting all along. Even if you turn it upside up, it's still unbalanced because it's not in the middle, right? So, whether right side up or upside down, it'll never be balanced when it's like this because this is not the actual cross of equilibrium, right? This is nothing more than the flip of Venus, my G, the queen of heaven, Philip. You understand? My worst was all they did was just cut the head off the witch, right? They beheaded the witch, and this is what they call witchcraft, my G. You understand? The, the beheaded Venus, or the crucified Venus, the crucified Isis, which is Easter, which is Ishtar, right, etc. So, and then we look at Mercury. Mercury is also Venus with the moon, with the moon disc. So Mercury is the trickster, right? These are the works of the trickster, right? With the, um, these are also horns. They can also be horns, right? Symbolizing sex and fertility, right? The trickster, like Eshu and Leitba and things, 
right? The old man at the crossroads. He's the crossroads, right? Led by Eshu, right? Um, Hermes, Thoth, etc. This is the trickster. So this is nothing more than Thoth with the with the moon, with the moon disc, right? It's the monkey mind, the Mercury, the Mercurian monkey mind with the with the moon, right? So that's a trickster flip, right? The trickster is the one who who beheaded the the queen, right? Well, in their case, it'd be Loki, right? It wouldn't be Thoth, and they and they and so they use Thoth, right? Through the through the Mason shit, right? They try to use our our teachings and and shit like this, but in their sense, it'd actually be Loki, right? The works of Loki, right? Loki who who beheaded the queen, the same Loki who killed his brother Baldir, or no, who tricked his who tricked Baldir's brother into killing him, his blind brother. Right, so Loki has always stirred up trouble, trouble in the in the Norse teachings. Right, he's the he's the trickster, but from Loki or Loki, my G, is where we get Loki. Right, a Loki. Now let me ask you a question: What the hell is a high key? Right, low key, not elaborate, showy, or intensive, modest, or restrained. Right, this is what they call low key. Anytime they're doing the doing the works of low key, right, they always remain low key. So what the hell low key means is low key, right? The works of low key, the trickster, right? So Hathor is the queen of heaven who was flipped, right? It's like you flip hoes and flip flip bitches and shit, right? You flip them, right? Because she was already flipped, right? It's your mama, nigga, she was flipped by the 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 west the beast. Right, that's Beauty and the Beast, right? Boom. So that's Taurus. Head to the root is is Taurus, which is once again around the time or in in the time of April, right? April Fools, Easter, all this shit. So Taurus is the mother, which is Easter, which is Astro, which is I said, my G, the star, the shining star, the shining Eastern star. Right, whose symbol is also the rabbit and the egg once again, symbolizing fertility of the spring, etc. So this is Ishtar. The fuck you talking about Ostara or Astron. Right. So that brings me to the seven heads of the root, the seven Hathors or the seven midwives, right? There were seven actually seven um princesses of heaven seven daughters of heaven right these are called the, the um seven sisters or the Pleiades, the Pleiades, right um yeah there were seven of them these are the daughters of atlas you know what i mean the Pleiades and in, in the greek teachings right but these are a, a, a star cluster right it's a star cluster on the ass of taurus on the ass of the bull or the cow right so this is um this is what it looks like, right? It's a cluster of the cluster of stars. These are the daughters of Atlas and Pleon. That's why they call the Pleiades, right? They're the daughters of Pleon. That's their mama, right? We get the month of May, etc. So this is um. These are the Pleiades. Boom, and we got Taurus. We got Orion. You understand? So these are the seven sisters of Head to the Root. These are so. This is the um, queen of heaven. Hathor is the queen of heaven, which is the cow, right? And this is talked about in the scriptures. That's why we're bringing it up, right? Um, he says the virgin of Israel is fallen. She shall no more rise. She is forsaken upon her land. There is none to raise her up. Family. That's the star man to the straw man. The flip of the five, right? The virgin of Israel, right? Queen of Sheba. You see, a lot, right? But we come down to eight, right? Amos 5, 8 says, Seek him that make of the seven stars and Orion. The seven stars is the Pleiades family. It says, And turneth the shadow of death into the morning and make of the day dark with night. They call for the waters of the sea and pour them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Seek him that make of the Pleiades and Orion. And we know it's the Pleiades because we come to another... Um, book of Amos right here will come down the new international version right new international version 
says, seek him. It says, he who made the Pleiades and Orion, who turns midnight into dawn and darkens day into night, who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out over the face of the land, the Lord is his name. Why does he call for the waters of the sea? And that's very important because the father of Orion is Poseidon. Poseidon is the Lord of the sea. So that's what they're talking about. Seek him who made the Pleiades and Orion. It's a lot of mythology in this shit, family. So that brings me to the heroine of hell, right? The heroine of hell is the descent of Christ into the underworld or into hell, right? Jesus went to hell, family. Did we know that? Right, which is Sheol. Jesus, Christ went to, went to, went to, went to Sheol. Well, this ain't Jewish because the Jewish, the Jews don't talk about the Christ and the crucifixion and shit, but in the Christian teaching family, this is the descent of Christ into, into hell or Hades, what occurs on Holy Saturday. Right? Holy Saturday. So this is where we get the descent into hell. Right? We come to the book of Exodus chapter 2. Right? We see that boom, come down. Come down. What are we looking at? Boom, here we go. Come to 16. Come to 216. It says, Now the priest of Midian has seven daughters. These are the seven Hetheru, right? The, the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. And Moses came and helped them, right? And he ended up marrying one of the daughters, right? It says, and, and Moses was content to dwell with the man, and he gave Moses Zipporah his daughter. You know what I mean? So Zipporah is an Ethiopian woman, right? And Miriam and Aaron, this is the book of Numbers chapter 12, right? It says, and Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. This is how we know the Hebrew people were not Negroes. You understand? My words were says, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. Now, the Hebrew people were African people or were, uh, you know, a native people, right? Um, now, we know all Africans didn't get along. All Native Americans didn't get along, right? And, and all, you know, Native Americans, you know, are not from Africa, right? All Africans didn't come to America, right? So who in the fuck? And we know that the Hebrew people were the heat soaks. We know all this shit, right? We know from the scriptures, right? Who the descendants of Ham were, the descendants of Shem, the descendants of Japheth. So we see that Ethiopian comes from Cush, which comes from Ham, and the Jews or the Israelites of Jacob, Yakub, come from Shem. They are Semitic people. So why in the hell? But this is what we see, right? So they were talking about her because she was black, kind of like in the Song of Solomon. How they talked about the Queen of Sheba, the maidens of Israel, right? Because she was burnt by the sun. They say she was burnt by the sun. So Miriam and Aaron were talking about this woman, right? And they said, have the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Have he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. So they saying, why didn't he speak to us before he married that bitch? In other words, he talked to God, but he didn't talk to us. Said, now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. So he was humble. And the Lord spake suddenly to Moses and to Aaron and then to Miriam, Come out ye three into the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud of severity. You know what I mean? And stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you. I, the Lord, will make myself known to him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. Right? My servant Moses is not so who was faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. In the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore, then we were... That wherefore then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. 
And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Right? So God punished Miriam, not Aaron. Right? It was Miriam and Aaron who spoke against Moses and his wife. But Miriam was made leprous as snow. Not Aaron, my dear. So now we come down. It says, And Aaron said to Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Right? April Fools, they're the fool again. Right? Let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is half consumed when he come out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried to the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. And the Lord said to Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, because that's what they used to do back then, father or your mama used to spit in your face, right, when you disrespect them, right? Or your grandmama used to spit in your face, used to <laughs> spit all in your shit, right? If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, and after that, let her be received in again, family. 